For centuries, we've watched the universe like a painting. But soon, we'll finally see it move. On a silent peak in Chile, a new telescope is preparing to film the cosmos in motion and reveal the invisible skeleton of the universe. This isn't just astronomy. It's the moment the universe forces us to rewrite everything we thought we understood. Welcome back to Void Therapy, where tonight we uncover the eye on the mountain that's about to record the universe like never before. And by the end of this video, you'll see why scientists quietly call it the machine that will rewrite astronomy. High in Chile's Atacama Desert, one of the driest, darkest places on Earth, sits a metal dome gleaming under alien skies. This is the Vera C. Rubin Observatory, home to the Simone Survey Telescope, the most ambitious ground-based project ever attempted. Its mission sounds simple, photograph the entire visible sky every few nights for 10 years straight. But think about that, 10 years of motion stitched together into a cosmic time-lapse. If we've already mapped the sky thousands of times before, what could possibly be left to discover? Hold that thought, <laughs> because this telescope doesn't just see the sky, it remembers it. At the heart of Rubin is a camera the size of a small car, weighing nearly three tons, packed with 3.2 billion pixels. One exposure from this monster would fill 385 4K TVs. It captures 10 square degrees of sky per shot, about 45 full moons in one frame. Every night, Rubin will collect 20 terabytes of data, transmitted through a dedicated high-speed link from Chile to the US for analysis. That's 20 terabytes of the universe every single night. And what makes it special isn't just the size, it's the speed. The Rubin Observatory will scan the entire southern sky every three nights. What we thought was static isn't. The sky isn't a still photograph. It's alive. Stars pulse, galaxies collide, asteroids shift, and the universe itself expands. We just needed a camera fast enough to notice. So if Rubin can watch the universe move in real time, what secrets will that motion reveal? For the first time in history, astronomers will have a movie of the night sky, one that shows not only where things are, but how they change. This project is called the Legacy Survey of Space and Time, or LSST. Rubin will build a 10-year film of the universe, tracking every flicker, flare, and anomaly. Supernovae exploding halfway across the cosmos, variable stars brightening and dimming like heartbeats, and objects moving too fast, or too strangely, to belong to our solar system. In its first 10 hours of test imaging, Rubin already captured millions of stars, thousands of asteroids, and over 2,000 previously unknown ones, including several near-Earth objects. Motion reveals danger and origin. The more we track, the more we understand how our solar system formed and how fragile it really is. But there's another mystery Rubin is hunting, not the bright things we can see, but the invisible force shaping them. How do you photograph something that gives off no light? To answer that, we have to go back to the telescope's namesake, Dr. Vera Rubin, the astronomer who in the 1960s discovered that galaxies spin too fast to be held together by visible matter. Her work was the first solid proof of something we now call dark matter. She proved the universe was heavier and stranger than it appeared. But she never saw its true form. No one has. The observatory carrying her name is humanity's attempt to finally map that unseen architecture. By measuring how billions of galaxies move over time, Rubin will expose the hidden scaffolding that gravity alone cannot explain. 
You don't need to see dark matter. You can watch it pull. Rubin's decade-long sky movie will let scientists trace those invisible threads, the cosmic web that holds everything together. But when we finally map it, what if we find out the universe isn't just expanding, it's changing its rhythm? Every few nights, Rubin will open its dome and photograph half the visible universe. In one year, it'll collect more optical data than all observatories before it combined. By the end of its run, 500 petabytes of data, billions of galaxies, trillions of measurements, will form a living archive of the cosmos. From this ocean of images, scientists hope to answer questions that sound almost spiritual. Where is the universe heading? What is dark energy doing to time itself? And how stable is the cosmic story we think we're part of? Rubin isn't just watching the sky evolve. It's watching our understanding evolve. Every snapshot changes what we think reality means. Maybe the universe doesn't move forward. Maybe we do. Rubin reminds us that time isn't an arrow, but a canvas. Every night, the observatory paints another frame, showing that existence isn't static. It's a conversation between light and memory. Dr. Rubin once said, there is no problem so interesting that it can't be solved. The only challenge is to find the right question. Maybe the right question isn't what's out there. Maybe it's what are we missing when we don't look long enough? The Vera Rubin Observatory hasn't even begun its full survey, and already it's redefining what a telescope can be. And somewhere in those billions of frames, we might finally glimpse the invisible truth Dr. Rubin spent her life chasing. But not everything we seek hides in the dark. In the next video, we turn our eyes to something else, something closer, much closer. Stay curious.